One of my favourite methods of sea fishing is float fishing. I just find it so relaxing seeing that float drift along and bob along and then the excitement when you suddenly see it disappear under the water when you get a take from a fish. It's a huge amount of fun. Now of course you can float fish for many different species. You can float fish for bass, for pollock, for wrasse, for mackerel, for garfish and more. But it's mackerel I'm after, mainly after this morning and as you can see I've got myself down onto the rocks. It's half past six in the morning so nice and early and I'm going to fish a few hours of the flooding tide and hopefully have a bit of fun and a bit of rac relaxation catching a few mackerel on the float. The tackle and the rig that I'm using for this float fishing this morning is I've got a nine foot rod which is capable of casting 60 grams and on that is a 4,000 size reel which is loaded with 15 pound braid and then joined to the end of the braid I've got a 15 pound leader which is just a little bit more than twice the length of the rod and then on the leader I've tied a, a sliding stop knot which enables me to adjust the depth that I'm fishing when I want to but coming down to the main rig I've got a sliding uh, pencil float which is a one ounce float which means that it takes one ounce of lead to cock the float correctly so it sits nicely in the water but the, the setup itself is, is an anti-tangle setup now I've done a video about this in the past and if anyone's interested in it I'll pop it up in the top right hand corner of the screen now but it's just a setup that helps to prevent tangles when you've got a bit of put a bit of force into a, into the cast but the main bit down the end, the business end, coming down to the hook, got 15 pound trace coming down to just a small hook, and that's just a size four hook. You don't need you don't need when you're bait fishing for things like mackerel and garfish, you don't need huge great great hooks. About four is plenty plenty big enough. I've got a mix of baits with me this morning. I've got some fresh mackerel which I caught yesterday and I've kept the belly section and cut the belly section down into little strips like that of about an inch and a half long and also got some launce fillets that I've taken off launce that I've caught in the past and again cut those down into little strips of about an inch and a half inch and three quarters long got some bluey in my bag just in case I run out but it's mainly mackerel and little launce fillets that I'm going to be fishing with right I think I'll start with a, a little bit of mackerel strip mackerel to catch mackerel and all I'm going to do is just nick the the hook on the end like that well I've got absolutely great conditions for float fishing this morning in the fact that it's it's relatively calm but also that I've got a slight offshore offshore wind which is going to be great it means I don't have to battle with an onshore wind trying to get the float out and also I can just cast the float out and if I want to I can let it drift, let some slack out and let it drift and let it drift out further out into deeper water if I feel that I need to. I mean the mackerel can be anywhere from further out to very very close to the rock here, particularly if there's lots of sand deals close to the rock they will come in very very close. But it is handy at times to, to be able to, if you can, uh, get a breeze where the float, you, you have that ability to get out into deeper water rather than being it being it onshore and then you cast it out and and within no time at all it's back at your feet again again I'm starting off fishing fairly shallow I've set the stop knot to about eight foot deep but later as the tide comes in and the water gets deeper I'll probably adjust the depth to about 10 to 12 feet where I'm going to be casting later towards the high water mark I'm probably casting out into about into about 20 feet of water so about 10 foot 10 to 12 foot will be will be about right uh oh and a seal just popped its head up right by my float so we won't be catching any fish at the moment don't know if the camera will see it, but it, it, it's about 10 feet from the float. Hope it don't go for that piece of mackerel. 
go, dear. Yeah, that's it. Off you go. I mean, they're lovely to see the seals, but uh, you don't want them right by right where you're fishing. That's for sure. It's quite an interesting thing about the methods for mackerel fishing. Now, if you go down onto a, a, a harbour wall, let's say a busy harbour wall, like say something like Mevagissin, you've got lots of people fishing there, mainly for mackerel, and they'll be using. Oh, float's gone. Ah, damn it, missed it. That's talking. Well, it's a good sign though, because that, that float just went, it just went bang, straight down. Now that's usually a sign of mackerel. If it was garfish, what usually happens is the float will lift, lift up and sit flat on the water. But that just went bang, straight down. So probably mackerel. Yeah, the, the different methods. So you get people on the harbour wall, there'll be some float fishing like I'm doing now. There'll be some feathering and there'll be some maybe uh, lure fish spinning. And it's interesting how one day one method will work. You'll get someone who, who catches on a float and then the bloke spinning can't catch a thing. Or the bloke, even the bloke feathering can't catch anything. And then you've got another day where you'll, you, you'll, get, you'll try float fishing and that won't work and then there's people catching spinning or there's people catching on feathering it's quite interesting that uh, that sometimes how all the methods don't actually don't actually work all right i better check i better check me bait still on after that bite but that's good i'm encouraged there's also lots of sand hills starting to appear now down here at the rock so that so that's a good sign because that that's what they'll be coming in for the sand deals are really building now I'm seeing a lot more sand deals and what I'll probably do later it's, it's still very early in the tide we're still about three and uh, half hours before high water so it's still quite shallow and it's very and it's very very clear water today but what I might do later when we get a bit more depth get towards nearer the high water I'll probably come, come in and, and, and fish fish fairly close here because the the mackerel will come in after after these sand hills just hugging the, the the edge of the rock here I've just changed the bait I'm going to try a little bit of uh, launce fillet now just going to mix it up and just see what works on the day I don't th I don't think the mackerel have moved in yet I think <clears throat> they'll probably move in when we get a bit more depth as the tide builds but uh, with all these sandals here I think I think there is a good chance that one or two mackerel will, will move in close Well, I missed a bite there, unfortunately. Never mind, it's the way it goes. At least it was a bite, so that, that always encourages you. Well, there's no activity at the moment, but even so, what I am doing is making sure that I change the bait regularly, check and change the bait regularly, just to, to, to make sure I keep a, a good scent trail, a fresh scent trail in the water. One of the things when the fishing's quiet and you're just standing by the water's edge enjoying enjoying the scenery you can get a bit lazy and and think and, and not change your bait but of course if you're catching you're constantly changing your bait so but it could make the difference it could make the difference between catching and not catching uh, a bit of fresh bait the fresh scent could could draw could draw a mackerel in to it rather than rather than the, the, no scent the scent being washed out of the bait hey we're in at last
and it is a mackerel. I'm pleased to say. And this is on mackerel. A little bit of mackerel fillet. Fantastic fighters mackerel, absolutely brilliant. Right, quickly put this out of its misery. Well, that's absolutely brilliant. Float fishing or spinning, catching them one of the time, as I've said in, in, in other videos, is, is, is really is a fantastic way to, to catch mackerel and, and just enjoy the fantastic fight of, of catching a mackerel, a single mackerel, one of, the, uh, one of the time. So that's great, so at least we haven't blanked. But as I said, that was caught, that mackerel was caught on mackerel, so, so that's what I've got on, got on again. Got absolutely beautiful crystal clear water today it really it really is a pleasure being by the water here being able to see the sand hills and also I, I can see right to the bottom now fortunately today I've got a bit of cloud cover but if if if, it, if it, the sun was beating down and being crystal clear I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't feel too confident about catching anything uh, close in but yeah, it's, it's, it's fantastic to just stand here and and just watch the sand hills swimming around. Float's gone. And we're in. Ah, missed him. Dropped him. Dropped it. Uh, obviously didn't get a, a good hook hold. But never mind. It looks like a few fish, fish have arrived. And that that was a fan, that was a fantastic uh, take. It was basically just a you saw the float bob, and then bang! It was just straight down. And this time, the fishes took a little strip of launch fillet.
Well, that's great. I'm really pleased now. It's been a fantastic morning. I said if I can catch a couple, I'll be really happy. But I've got about uh, another hour to go of the session, but we'll, we'll see if we can pick up another one. Well, I'm going to make this the last, the last cast now. It's it's gone very, very quiet. There's 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 not much sign of life, but we'll we'll give it one one last drift just to see if I can pick up. Uh, another one and then head on in well that's it it's time for me to call it a day i'm really pleased to at least catch a couple of mackerel this morning and, and had a couple of missed bites may have caught more if i'd been spinning but as i mentioned Float fishing for them is a really chilled out, relaxing way of targeting mackerel. Just standing by the water there, watching that float drift along. And you've got the visual aspect and the excitement when you see that float go under and you manage to hook a fish. Really is a huge amount of fun. So once again, I hope you found that useful and many, many thanks for watching.